नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम टू दीडियो सो दिस वीडियो इज थियरी फिलॉसफी सो वी नो दैट योगा इज हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रैक्टिस एंड जीरो परसेंट टॉक और जीरो परसेंट थियरी विल दैट इज ट्रू ओनली थ्रू प्रैक्टिस of yoga meditation it becomes useful but this video nonetheless is talk maybe for entertainment for knowledge to know the history and origin of tantra and yoga i hope that this video is interesting and useful to you so i would like to mention to you the main sources from which i took the information to tell you in this video i believe that the source has to be authentic so i am going to mention you in this video the sources so i hope maybe if you find interesting you can go through the sources so first one is asana pranayama mudra bandha Swami Satyananda, this book, and a little from Hatha Yoga Pradipika as well by Swami Mukti Bodha Nanda, and uh, this one, a systematic course in the ancient tantric techniques of yoga and kriya by Swami Satyananda Saraswati, and uh, one more book by Mark Stephens, Teaching Yoga. essential foundations and techniques okay so mainly these four books and uh, maybe here and there one or other books but they are mostly from bihar school of yoga i think that mostly these books are quite authentic and uh, transferring the traditional knowledge of tantra and yoga Uh, so you can refer these books nonetheless now let us dive into the topics tantra and yoga as briefly and as deeply as possible maybe even more videos may come in the future to explain uh, more details about these topics let us now open the books okay so now let's check it out if you see this asana pranayama mudra bandha book where it starts with the history of yoga so it actually tells that history of yoga or the origin of yoga actually starts from tantra that yoga has come from tantra itself so the source of yoga is actually tantra so from tantra only we have yoga so for that reason we are going to see what is tantra so when the universe began from one single point source when consciousness and uh, energy emerged in this book we are going to take the energy and consciousness as shiva and shakti so shakti means the energy the cosmic energy and the shiva means the cosmic consciousness so the awareness and the consciousness are shiva and uh, along with the consciousness what has emerged is called the shakti so the nature of the shakti is that it is expanding and liberating in nature so for that reason tantra is of two words means tanoti and trayati which mean expansion and liberation respectively so if you read this whole content is very interesting about lord shiva and parvati uh, 
how Parvati represents the supreme knowledge. So actually the Lord Shiva, the consciousness teaches the yogic tantric knowledge to Shakti. So this is the prime source which is telling that the universe has begun with the Tantra. So ancient knowledge is actually Tantra and it is a wide uh, subject. It has many many different branches. We will see that. So after the emergence of Tantra after many many years slowly yoga started developing by many sages. So in this book the yoga and kriya we will read this one short paragraph here to sum up tantra covers a wide range of interests from rituals to rules of regulating one's life from astrology to ayurvedic medicine but yoga on the other hand is more specific it is in general concerned with directly influencing the mind and body as a method of attaining good health, mental peace and eventually higher awareness. We will talk about this higher awareness. Tantra has the same aim. Obviously, liberation means only through higher awareness it happens. But it includes within its fold a great range of method and interest. So this here main uh, statement which says we can say Tantra is the mother and yoga is the sun so slowly the concept of yoga started coming up after several years and so again in this book itself Swami Satyananda says yoga is the many people say that it is the union but actually we are already in the union we are already mind body soul put together yoga is not something that which is going to join them they are already joined this realization that you are one of mind body soul and most importantly you are one with the supreme consciousness so individual consciousness and supreme consciousness they are one realizing this concept through experience in meditation when you are connecting with the supreme consciousness or the awareness that is the yoga so yoga had started like this slowly it was developing um, into raja yoga yoga started slowly so you can read all this information what is yoga and all it is quite interesting many books have come but still we uh, so this was the origin of yoga it came from tantra right it's it shows uh, yoga means unity or oneness you know this technical term huge to join but as i have said previously it is a, mainly the realization realization is the important thing so yoga started and many sages started teaching yoga but this yoga concept was not open to everybody uh, most most of the yoga was a secret subject Th that is what is mentioned in this book teaching yoga so yoga was just a secret community like an esoteric knowledge but after several years, a different kind of a subject emerged. It is also called as Tantra. Okay, but this Tantra is not the one we are talking about the initial emergence of Tantra. But another sect of yogis, we can say, they started uh, Tantra, which took the yogic concepts all the practices of yoga into the society 
which was not present in the society up until that point yoga was only practiced by small group of secret people but after emergence so after this raj yoga and all tantra again arose and it took the concepts of yoga to the common people to everyone in the society but due to uh, some complications and uh, misunderstanding and misconceptions this tantra concept failed and it it was rejected by the society after that certain concepts from tantra were removed and again a new concept came up so this is all happening many hundreds and thousands of years ago uh, this concept was hatha yoga so first with the beginning of the universe itself emerged concept called tantra then yoga emerged then raja yoga after that again a concept called tantra started by the people to take the yogi concepts to the society but then society rejected this tantra concept and a new concept came called hatha yoga hatha yoga is the concept which even people from the society also practiced and most of the yoga that is present in today's world that we are all practicing has its beginning from hatha yoga itself so that is the concept of tantra and its relationship with yoga now we will see using a small interesting uh, diagram how we can understand the relationships between tantra and yoga and different other ancient techniques so check out this diagram which i made uh now this is a simple diagram to understand a little bit of the ancient techniques so first you can see tantra has started a big circle see tantra is like the vast topic it it, it almost contains everything a to z but the main concept again this liberation and expansion that which we are talking about it happens only through the practice of meditation and then yoga started so the connection between tantra and yoga mainly is awareness which is meditation and yoga when it became into raj yoga and then through many uh, through many ages slowly it took different paths mentioned in bhagavad gita by shri krishna that uh, yoga is now having one is karma yoga one is bhakti yoga like that we have gnana yoga these each circles itself they are quite big topics bhakti yoga is the devotional part of yoga nada yoga is a yoga which uses practice of sounds like a mantra gnana yoga is again experiencing the knowledge knowing the truth through meditation dhyana yoga is again meditation practice mainly and then we have hatha yoga which we are practicing and and modern yoga we have which is uh, which started in the 1900s uh currently we have so many yoga studios all that kind of yoga comes under modern yoga raj yoga is a eight fold path yoga which has the yama niyama even hatha yoga has yama niyama but uh, slightly different concepts 
we will go through them later on maybe in different videos so raja yoga has eight steps yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara this dharana dhyana and samadhi so it has many common things with other uh, yoga streams like dhyana yoga hatha yoga and karma yoga karma yoga is some kind kind of yogic practice where the person is well aware of the law of karma and they are doing all their actions knowing well aware that that their actions or everything have their conse- consequences and they are working for the sake of work itself rather than expecting anything in return so karma yoga is uh, another again another big topic to talk about and then we have ayurveda uh, it is again a big topic it's wide and it has also a lot of uh, introduction and uh, practical applications and next we have this yoga so slowly so so many uh, yoga trainers yoga teachers developed their own style of yoga so this picture in brief is actually explaining raja yoga but with some added concepts so we start with the yama niyama which are social and personal ethics and then we start with the yoga asanas which have several preparations and exercises uh, so that one prepares himself or themselves for the asanas after yoga asanas comes the pranayama and in between they can actually do the relaxation and yoga nidra to rejuvenate themselves after the practice of yoga asanas and then we have pratyahara which means with the drawing the senses inwards like anyway when we are practicing meditation we close our eyes right physical eyes so pratyahara is similar to that preparing going inwards from all your senses it's the beginning of the inner journey it's also like not getting distracted by uh, outer things which are happening and just going inward that is a pratyahara and next to is the dharana is one pointed concentration which we are going to do before the practice of dhyana which is a meditation meditation it begins with the awareness mainly the first technique mentioned in vijnana bhairava tantra is the awareness of the breath so as you become aware of your breath slowly you enter with practice into shunya and then samadhi so this is the basic idea of the yogic discipline or the yogic subject so nowadays we have many kinds of yoga practices so similarly we have come up with this abhimitra yoga concept where we have clubbed yoga concept with many fitness and exercise regimes like high intensity interval training and weight training before the practice of yoga so anyways we will see all of these practical things in other videos so this ends the explanation of tantra and yoga so guys thank you so much
for watching this video